Hi everyone. So I am going to make something um, that I have kind of made before, just haven't recorded it yet. Uh, I'm going to be making um, some truffles. And what that is, is it's pretty much a keto or low carb bread. And it's basically just made out of cheese and um, eggs, your guys' seasoning and whatever you want to put on it. And you put it in a waffle maker. So a lot of people use like the miss or like the dash waffle maker. Um, I don't. I already have a waffle maker, so I just use with what I have, and I just use my plain Jane waffle maker, and it works perfectly fine. So let's get to it. So I'm making a BLT with um, my truffles. So I already cooked my bacon, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Um, sorry my husband just got me this new like thing to hold my phone and light and stuff like that so I'm still trying to like figure out how to do it so anyways so this is my waffle maker um this is my bowl I'm trying to get it so you can see everything I'm gonna just put that off to the side okay so first things first I'm gonna make the batter um so I'm pretty sure it's like a fourth of a cup of cheese for the mixture and one egg. Um, I kind of just eyeball everything. Um, so there's about that much cheese. Maybe, maybe that's a half a cup. I'm almost positive it's a fourth cup, but I just like mine a little bit extra cheesy. Um, so egg, Oops, got a little shell in there. Salt, pepper, and then onion powder. And I would put garlic powder in here, but I'm all out. And I keep forgetting to grab it from the store. So, <laughs> yeah, story of my life. Okay, I've got to grab a spoon. So you mix, so it's, it's going to be like this, and you just mix it together, like so. And what it's going to look like is it's pretty much going to look like an egg and an egg and cheese, just, yeah. Okay, so it's going to look like that. gonna go back to the waffle maker. Um, let me see if I can make this. There we go. Aha, I figured it out. Okay. So here's my waffle maker. Um, I'm going to spray it first. Now what I do is you see like the squares here, I just make like for like one piece for me and then yeah like so I need two pieces of bread so I'm gonna make like you know the two two squares okay so anyways so I'm gonna put this on medium high and this is the key to a really crispy truffle is put cheese down first and kind of let that melt so you put a little extra cheese on and this is on it's heating up but it's not hot I mean I've been cooking for a long time and you know I can cook I can touch hot things and it just doesn't bother me if you guys if anybody else like cooks has cooked for a long time then they understand what I'm getting at okay so anyways I can feel it starting to warm up okay so, hi, my little girl. She's watching um, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. While I'm doing this. Okay. So now you can see it is starting to bubble. Then you split the cheese and egg mixture between the two. Pretty 
around. All right, now the key to making the truffles is to just let it cook until it stops steaming. So you put the thing on and it might ooze out on the side, which is okay. Um, it's happened to me numerous times. Um, but just let it cook until, I don't know if you can see, but there's steam that's coming from it and it's cooking. Let it cook until the steam stops. Now you can look in, into it if you want um, and check on it. Um, I do from time to time, but just let it cook um, until the steam stops. So we will be right back and I will show you the finished product. Okay, so it is starting to slowly um, stop uh, steaming. So I'm gonna check up on it. And uh, do you see how it looks done, but it's still kind of squishy. So I'm going to let it keep cooking for a little bit longer. I'm gonna push them off to the side. And what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start prepping my vegetables. Um, so here's the tomato. I'm going to slice up the tomatoes. And I'm just going to slice up a whole tomato because I can use it for, you know, sandwiches later on. So there's my tomato. Get my lettuce ready. If you've never had truffles before, I literally highly suggest you make them. Um, you, it, you would think it wouldn't taste good, but it does <laughs> for sure. Okay, here's my lettuce, and I think I'm gonna do an onion. Um, okay, anyways, so yeah. So my husband, he, um, well not just my husband, I usually, we normally just like cut up our vegetables and then just put them in uh, a container and that way it's all said and done. So yeah, okay, so I have this. Um, I got this. Get my mayonnaise there. Switch this up because I think my truffles might be done. So, over here. Nope, I'm gonna turn the heat up to max. It was on a medium high. Okay. So what I'm going to do also is I'm going to have some celery for the side. So I'm going to cut up my celery and then wash it up. And I'm going to put some peanut butter. Oops. And then on a couple of them, I think I'm going to put like a couple chocolate chips. So it, I'm hoping it's going to like satisfy my sweet tooth that I get. I don't know about you guys, but I have a sweet tooth literally every single night. I don't know why, I just do. I try really hard not to, you know, indulge myself with it. But here lately, I just I can't help it. You know when you have that craving, and it, or like, okay, so you know like when you have an itch and you know you're not supposed to itch it, right? But you have to, it just itches. Well, that's how it is with like sugary sweet things for me. I don't know, maybe it's like, I know this might be like TMI, but maybe it's like almost the time of the month. So maybe that's why. Okay. Those are done. I'm gonna let those dry out for a little bit. And I'm going to throw my stuff away. One day I will have a bigger kitchen, so <laughs> I can do a lot more stuff. Okay, this looks good. Whenever you um, make it, you tap on it, and it should be really hard. It's kind of like burnt. All right. So I'm gonna turn my waffle maker off. And unplug it. And that's what it looks like. There's my hot pad. 
push this off to the side. Okay. This here. Okay. You hear that? Cr I don't know if you can hear it, but it's very crispy. Okay. So let's trim this up a little bit. Just for you guys. I'm gonna trim this up. I normally don't trim it, but whatevs. Right? Taste test? Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, by the way, I use cheddar cheese. In case anybody was wondering. Okay. So we will do. You know what? I'll just do it and then place it. I'm gonna do mayonnaise first. Okay. I thought I had everything organized and brought out before I started filming. I guess not. Okay, so anyways, so mayonnaise. Oh this onion is a little too. Lettuce. You know what? I think I'm going to put mayonnaise on the other top too. Well, on the top of the thing. There it is. Okay. So. I'm gonna get this cleaned up. Um, so move this off to the side. And I'm gonna show you my little idea with some celery. Okay, so peanut butter, all natural. All this has is peanuts and salt, and then some chocolate chips. I normally have sugar-free chocolate chips, but right now I don't. So I'm gonna split this in half, just because the opening wasn't very big. I'm gonna cut it in fours. And then I'm going to stir my peanut butter because the oil normally rises to the top. I'm going to spread some peanut butter on it. Spread it on all four. Man, I really hope this helps my sweet tooth. But like I said, I after I eat something savory, I want something sweet. And I try so hard not to. I even try to do like a protein shake. Um, and here lately that hasn't even been helping. I don't know why. I don't know if it's all in the mind or what. Or what. Okay. Sorry, I have to check on my little one. <clears throat> Alright, now I'm going to put some chocolate chips on them. Not too much. I'm only gonna do half, so two my chocolate chips. Okay. Put it on my plate. I know this might look weird to some people, but to me this looks delicious. Like a weird combo. Alright, let's see. Hello everybody. <laughs> Okay, 
So, truffle, sandwich, and now a piece of bacon film. All right, let's take a taste test. Oh, oh, that's so good. Mm. It's very crunchy. You can't even tell like you're missing bread. I wanted to clean my palate before I tried the celery. Okay. Peanut butter and celery. Mmm. That is good. Mm-hmm. The one with chocolate. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is also really good. Mm. Oh, this is such a good idea. Oh, man. Well. Thanks for making dinner with me. I'm gonna continue eating, probably give some bacon to my little one. Um, but yeah, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. Um, I'm going to try to make as many videos as I can and post them up. Um, <clears throat> sometimes it's really hard with three kids and I'm still trying to figure it out. And it's still, no excuse, but yes, I'm trying. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Bye.